And in health news this morning, each day we're flooded with stories about COVID-19, the coronavirus that's spreading around the globe. Here in West Michigan, Spectrum Health is offering a free screening to those who have symptoms and are concerned they may have the virus. Here with more information on how the screenings work and how to get one is Chief Medical Officer Dr. Dale Ilmucci. Good morning. Good morning, Todd. Thank you for being here. Coronavirus is inescapable, not just the, <laughs> the, the virus itself, maybe, but the news about it is absolutely we've all heard about this uh, COVID-19. So tell us about this free screening. How is this going to work and who's supposed to get it? Because the news that we're getting is that there aren't enough kits around. So we want to make sure that we're not just, you know, tossing these out to everybody. Right. Sure. So so first of all, this is not testing. This okay. starts off with screening. It's a screening. Okay. It's a screening. What? And what we decided uh, about a week ago was that there's a lot of confusion, as we all know. Right. Uh, and we really didn't want people that didn't need to come to the ERs, urgent cares and doctors offices to come. We'd rather them stay home, particularly if they're infected. We didn't want spread of disease. So we initiated a, a free screening process where essentially anyone can call a telephone number, which I'm hoping will be on the screen soon. <laughs> yes, uh, and there it is. <laughs> excellent. And when they call, uh, we, they'll be instructed how to download an app on their phone uh, or on their computer, okay. and they can do a video screen with one of our providers uh, set up later in the same day. We can go through a series of questions to understand if they potentially are at risk for COVID-19, and from there, direct them to the right care. Okay, so Thank you for clearing that up for Absolutely. me. This is a screening, not the actual test, because those tests, as we heard, were yeah, limited. Yeah, still limited. But the screening itself, people are, are getting to the point where if they hear someone sneeze, or if I they know. just cough once, they automatically think, is this the sign they may be carrying? Because th we've heard this has kind of latent symptoms. Right. Where, like it really doesn't show up right away. You could be carrying this. So how does one know when to call? I mean, is there a certain number that we should hit on a temperature or is there a sign? Yeah, so so this is all in flux, obviously. Right. And we're, the CDC guidelines still are looking, particularly in a state like Michigan where we haven't seen it yet, uh, at where someone has been. So if you've okay. been in contact with someone that you're concerned may have had COVID-19 mm -hmm. or you just came back from Italy with some of that wine in the faucets, mm -hmm. uh, then we would initiate further screening connect you with the health department for testing. Uh, if you just have the sniffles, chances are we'll tell you you're okay and just stay home and rest. And how does the screening work then if it's if you're not coming in for an actual test? What what does the screening look like? How, do, how does that work? So essentially it's like FaceTime or Skype. We can actually see you and you can see us and okay. so by looking at you and asking the questions we get a pretty good sense of if you're at risk. Okay and the first step people should take if they feel like okay I'm running a fever. Okay, I'm gonna call this number. How does one determine via FaceTime whether it's time to come in? Uh, you know, at the end of the day, this requires the expertise of our doctors and physician sure. assistants and the like, and there's not a right answer because this is in flux, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. throughout the country. But the bottom line is if you have a fever, shortness of breath, cough, uh, and some form of exposure, okay. then we'd be concerned. If you just have those without being in Italy or being near someone that was ill, uh, chances are it's not going to be COVID-19 and we'd, we'd reassure you. And we said at the top of this, it's a free screening. So, I mean, mm -hmm. is, is this something I have to worry about? Through insurance is it getting no. billed this way so so literally about a week ago we said we need to do something we want to make the barriers to this low we want to do a public service for the community so it is absolutely free there is no charge no billing insurance no copay uh, it's we want to make it easy really so there you don't have to worry about because a lot of people I they know. they don't go to the doctor they don't get checked out because they don't want to deal with the bills, right. right? The bill side of things. So this takes all of that away. All of it away. Okay. And then how how busy has this been? I mean, you've launched this already. How many calls? So have we been launched in? this late Friday. Okay. We've had many dozens now. Okay. Uh, I don't have the most recent up to date sure. numbers today, but it's been a very effective service. All right. So let's get people the information to get on that app because I've I've used this app. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, a couple of times with my daughter, so I know how this works. But for those who don't know, this face to face at this Med Now thing that you're doing, how do we get people to that app? So either one of two ways, you call the number and we will guide you, and we've actually rebranded the app Spectrum Health oh, now, Thank no you. problem Thank at you. all. Uh, or if you went to our website, spectrumhealth.org, there'll be links to all of this. Okay, so spectrumhealth.org, as you're seeing right there on the screen, there's a special page for COVID-19 if you wanna learn more about that. If, of course, go to the source if you want more information on this virus, cdc.gov, or call that number on your screen, 616-391-2380, and they will walk you through the steps of how to get that app on your phone, Spectrum Health Now, which I have used a couple of times. It really does work. Thank you so much for the time. My I pleasure. Appreciate it. You bet. We'll be right back.